So, what do you think? Is it a nice day for a white wedding? Is that supposed to be the crocodile on there? No. Billy Island. Got him. Let's do this. Hello, hello? <laughs> hey! You get your damn hands off her! <laughs> what? Do you think someone's coming to save you? You done ruined the gato o fromage. It still tastes the same. I'll give you some to taste. The hell? Domestic disturbance, 9.37 p.m. Subject is white male, approximately five foot seven. Are you gonna pay for that? Subject is armed with mildly pornographic magazine. Issue is three months old. You son of a bitch. Subject is left-handed as revealed by a catcher's mitt found an exterior receptacle and has at least one damaged knee. Subject has learned the value of treating women with respect. Excuse me, miss, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Excuse me, gentlemen, could I ask you a few questions about the recent influx of violence in the... <laughs> One can only assume the increase in domestic endangerment cases like these are related to the recent plague of runaway teen girls. In addition to these specific attacks, the one issue on many residents' minds is vagrancy, from the aforementioned gang activity that has overrun the business district to your more Turn that shit off. Some wonder if there's a larger, more... What's the matter? Misdirected youth got your civic improvement advisory. I'm just trying to do a study to help out the community, okay? This is our community, dork. Hey, I live here too. O okay? Well, then let's see you show your white collar clipboard here after dark. Hello, sir and madam. Uh, I see you are in the market for a simulated timepiece. Uh, now, over at Louis Pawn, over on 22nd, they have many simulation Rolodexes. Shut up! 50. Excuse me, sir. Are you insimulating that I would partake in illegal activities? I've been watching you sell those lousy watches all week. I know you could sell these. Uh, Fifty dollars is a lot of money for someone like me. How hot are these things? Let's just say you don't want to ask any questions about the previous owner. 
unless you want to join her. And if you have a problem with our agreement, I'll be back here with my guys, and you won't be needing that trench coat and bottle of hooch or whatever. Oh, well, I can see you clearly deserve it. Uh, just so there's no hard feelings, why don't you take a watch as well? You know, uh, on the house, uh, as it were? I don't mind if I do. I don't want any trouble. What? What? No, no, really. We care about the community too. Right, guys? Hey, yeah! <laughs> uh, well, wait, let's talk about this later. Oh, oh, oh. Let's start by taking a closer look at waste management. Oh, oh I think I've got good notes. I just don't know. Now you see those tiny, accidental looking scratches on the side? Uh, those are actually the jeweler's initials. Uh, now if you go down to the pawn shop, on, uh, on right in Is third, Is there I think. blood on this earring? Yes! Well, speaking of cartilage, uh, look at the time. Uh, I've got to go, you know, uh, take up shop, take inventory, that sort of thing. Uh, nothing if not stickler for schedule. It's 10.13. Of course it is. You're late. Sorry. I just stopped by an interesting little bistro right down the street. We need to split. We need to wait for the girl, or we're all toast. Hey, special delivery! Is she all right? We wouldn't want to deliver anything damaged. Excuse me, buddy. Do you happen to have the time? Well, well, well. What kind of freak do we have here? Watch out. Dead end anyways. Besides. I think she's taken care of. I should have gone to college. You killed them! No, I killed him. The other three are still alive, I, I think. I'm turning you in this time. Your charade ends tonight. All right, here we go. Help me with this one. No, I'm calling the police. I am finally calling the police. You're insane! I don't really care whether these maggots live or die. All I care about is the girl. If you care too, then help me. Oh God, the girl. Where'd they take her? Where is she? We, we didn't 
do anything, man. She she got away while you were running over Philippe with a shopping cart. And where did she... Where is she? Gone. She was right ahead of us. She has to be here. What are you doing? There were two screams. The first took place as she was walking backwards to here. Uh, a cat knocked over that receptacle and, and gave her quite a fright. She then walked calmly back to the head of the alley, mayhaps to see if I had dealt with the rest of those punks. Uh, and stop there. Okay, what the hell is going on? Don't know. Good afternoon, and welcome to your weekly progress report. My name is Steven, and I'll be your social integration facilitator and general caseworker for this session. Two things we should always ask ourselves are what are my goals for this week and how am I going to work to achieve those goals? How have you worked to achieve your goals this week? Oh, you slaughtered some wayward use at the back of a local late night diner. Tack that against your long term reintegration plan into normal society. Didn't hear any complaints when I helped with that tenement fire on 17th last month. You saved those kids from that building, yes, but $3,000 went missing from their fireproof safe. I tore my leg up, something fierce, trying to break through a shatter-resistant window. 3000 barely covered the doctor's bills. Call a payment, saving the kids. People do get paid to save others from fires. Professionals, they're called firefighters. You know, you're a sick man. You need to give this up and turn in the cape, or trench coat, or whatever. Never did trust police to take care of business. Never took much of a liking to me. That's because you're a vagrant. You engage in illegal activity even when you aren't parading around reveling in it. You think the cops can handle this? They just let us walk away from a multiple murder, which I obviously committed and would have admitted to if asked. There's one young woman's life here at stake, maybe more. I'm sorry I don't have the proper paperwork to help this town, but I'm all it has. I must be insane. Where are we going? You better get in there. Boss is pissed. Shite! A man watches his pear tree day after day, impatient for the ripening of his fruit. Let him attempt to force the process, and he may spoil both fruit and tree. Let him wait patiently, and the ripened pear at length falls into his lap. Look, I, I know we botched up earlier, but... It... I have waited too long for the fruits of my labor. Some of my people, the, uh, the ones who survived? I will not see it laid rotten. Maybe it's time for us to dissolve our mutual agreement. A at least until the heat dies down. You wish secession from me? Better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak out and remove all possible doubt. Did you say Abe Lincoln? Vampire Abraham Lincoln. Where is he? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Vampire Abraham Lincoln? 
That didn't sound like an address. Oh. Oh. Since when has our 16th president been a vampire? Oh. He's always been a vampire. After the assassination, I had to go into hiding. And in hiding, I have remained. But, but why do you need us? I need your blood, my dear. The blood of 87 women like yourselves. When drawn in a single fortnight, I can rid myself of these supernatural shackles of darkness and constant hunger. That's horrible. Everyone desires to live a long life, but no one would be old. <laughs> it doesn't matter. After all, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. Someone will come here to stop you. Oh, my dear, I'm planning on it. If I had eight hours to chop down a tree, I would spend six sharpening my axe. So to speak. So why would a vampire be in a public park this late at night? I'm not here for Lincoln. There's a zombie I need to check up on. Zombies? No. Just one. Watch out for the shovels. Back in the 80s, there was a small surge. I think it was the ham. Ham? Ham. Butogenically tainted processed ham. Anyway, I, I had to put down a family of them. Right now, Timmy's our best chance to locate Lincoln fast. The little blighter's like a dowsing rod for the preternatural. Timmy? <laughs> so is he always this pleasant? <laughs> you resuscitated that kid with a jumper cable. We took up a zombie in the park. And now we're going to stick one of these things through the undead heart of one of America's most pivotal historical figures. Keeping up. Good. Who are you? I'm just a normal man like, like anybody else, really. No, you're different. You're way off the ordinary scale, my friend. <laughs> Don't you have like a cool like superhero name or something? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Well, how about like the, the vagrant vigilante? Or, or the destitute demolisher. Or even like the homeless hero. Why do they all have to start with the same letter? Oh, uh, what about the hobonator? Uh, no, I don't like that suffix. Okay, the transient. Yeah. I don't really travel much. <laughs> Close. Simply purgatory! <laughs> We're here to give you wood. Ah, the prerequisite heroes. <laughs> The dogmas of the quiet past are inadequate to the stormy present. As our case is new, so we must be willing to think anew and act anew. <laughs> we must disenthrall ourselves from the present malaise. Hence I wish to free myself of this cadaverous curse and summarily be reinstated as president of these United States. But you've already served two terms. The latter of which was cut grievously short. 
a fact I will pointedly resolve. You're mine, Lincoln. Towering genius disdains the beaten path. It seeks regions hitherto unknown. I believe I can leave you to my cabinet. You came to save us. <laughs> but who will save you? <laughs> defines the shepherd as a destroyer of all liberty. So it appears that the wolf and the sheep are not yet agreed upon the proper definition of that word liberty. And that is precisely the difference that remains between us creatures. You talk funny. I belong to the ages. A torso divided cannot stand, Mr. President. You look like shit. I hate you.